so this is our Mean Girls themed sexual health week. We thought it'd be fun to give it a bit of a theme. Um, and <laughs> that's why today, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. So on Monday we had Step Forward come in and they were giving out free condoms and STI kits. I think they've brought in about 60 STI kits and they managed to get rid of all of those in the hours that they were here. And we gave away over 300, 300 condoms on Monday. So <laughs> we've got 300 to go for the rest of the week. Hi, my name's Annie and I've come from Step Forward today and we're promoting Sexual Health and Sexual Health Week in partnership with uh, Bart's Health, the Forward Thinking Partnership. We're giving out free condoms, STI kits and information today um, and you can also pop to our clinics as well. For more information check out our website at Forward Thinking, so that's fwdthinking.london. On Monday evening we had Ann Summers come in for our Meet the Plastics party. Um, <laughs> I wonder, I don't know if you'll see any shots of Carolina dressed up in her maid's outfit <laughs> and we, um, we passed around toys and we played party games and stuff like that, I think it was really fun and a way to break the taboo around sex. On Tuesday we brought in Positive East along with our LGBT society uh, which was really great, we had loads of people coming up to the school picking up condoms, lube again and I think we had about 15 people tested for HIV. Positive East will also come again the um, third week of February for LGBT week. Hi, my name's Izzy. I'm president of the LGBT Plus Society on Queen Mary campus and I'm here with our representative from Positive East. And we are currently working on giving people HIV tests. Okay, so at Positive East we offer free rapid HIV testing all over East London, uh, in Hackney, Newham, uh, Tower Hamlets, etc. Uh, we test in libraries, in bars, in saunas, um, places like this, like Queen Mary University. So uh, if you're interested, just go to our website and look at the page about where to get tested. So obviously these days, HIV is seen as a manageable condition. Um, if you, take the tr uh, if you take the medication as prescribed, um, it can reduce the virus to undetectable levels in your blood and uh, mean that you can live a full healthy life uh, as if you were HIV negative. Moving on to today, Wednesday. On Wednesday we were pink, so <laughs> dressed as Regina's mum. Um, with snacks and condoms. Not many snacks, but a lot of condoms. And then this evening we've got our, on Wednesday we wear pink pound stretcher, so hopefully we'll have a good turnout for that. And once again I'll be giving out more condoms, so hopefully <laughs> people will pick those up. And then tomorrow, I'm probably most excited for tomorrow, we've got Enhance the UK coming in to do an event undressing disability so they'd like to make sex education more inclusive for people with disabilities. There's still a massive stigma and taboo when it comes to sex and disability because people babyfy disabled people and especially parents you know when their children are growing up and they just want to be really protective and around young teenage years you know that's when people are just exploring their sexuality and discovering themselves um, so we're very much again encouraging people to come down and actually start talking about it and especially when it comes to university because let's face it when you come to university you come to study but you also come to have a good time. They're asking people to sign a petition, they're going to be showing an art exhibition and then in the evening we've got a quiz called Bras and Blindfolds where we've got you know alcohol, non-alcoholic drinks, pizza and an interactive quiz which will hopefully people get involved in.